Uh, Mr Mignonet, how serious a problem is this? Good evening. Well, it's a, it's a problem we, we know for more than 12 years now. Um, what happened yesterday is, is a proof that, again, uh, that matter has to be treated uh, on, by Europe itself and that uh, uh, rules must, must be changed in England uh, because at the moment we, we know when uh, we are told by migrants themselves that they only want to go to England because it's much more easy to get facilities in England than anywhere else in Europe. So Britain is seen as a soft touch? Britain is too soft uh, and not only by the facilities or, or the way they can get facilities but also um, we are told as well by migrants and we saw already on, on the news that migrants are saying that it's easy to work illegally on the black market in England and this is why they only want to go to England. What do you want Britain to do about it? Sorry? What do you want Britain to do about it? Well, Britain should uh, change the rules uh, uh, and get them probably tougher uh, in the way of getting asylum in England as well as uh, fighting against the work on the black market, probably uh, create identity cards because there is no identity control in England. And, uh, and one thing, one thing uh, uh, Mrs. Busha is, is asking as well is the English controls and the English borders to uh, be moved back to England on the English territory. Well, the Border Force have said that they, they take security at the border very seriously. They continue to strengthen it to stop those who have no right to enter the UK. They say they've already made improvements uh, in Calais, working with the French authorities. They've upgraded vehicle scanning equipment, for example. What more do you want them to do? Well, there is a scan system. There, all the security that has been shown uh, on the different uh, TVs or newspaper are existing and working well. But when you see what happened yesterday, where hundreds of migrants have gone into the port, what the security can do? Uh, yesterday, uh, the UK uh, border agency was there as well on the port of Calais, and even so, migrants went into the port. So it's much more complicated uh, than only technology. Uh, even if all the technology, all fences uh, and uh, all police forces you, you can put on the port they will still arrive in Calais and they will still try to go to England. Let, let me just put one point to you that's come to us via someone on Twitter, Malcolm Powell, who says Calais in France, it's the French government's job to fund Calais border control. It's not the UK's responsibility. It's up to you to do something about it. <laughs> Well, for ages, French and English are saying, are blaming one each other. Uh, it, I think now in 2014, it's the time to realize that the problem is there. Um, I, is it useful anymore to blame uh, the other ones, to say it's well, your you're responsibility? Blaming, you're I blaming think, Britain, I think it aren't is you? now the time. Uh, well, we, we blame England not understanding what we suffer about in Calais. Uh, the rest of Europe doesn't care, such as in Italy. Uh, we have the situation in Calais where migrants are blocked in Calais and in Italy where they arrive and nobody cares in Europe about it. It's the time now to, to say we have a problem in Lampedusa and in Calais and we must work it with England. We know why England is the target for the migrants. So it, it's useless to say uh, you must secure uh, much more than you do at the moment the port of Calais. Uh, I've got a simple image uh, to, to show that, to explain it. Tomorrow you would owe a million pounds a month. I don't think that would sort out all of your problems. So it's the time now to, to work with the English government and English government to come to Calais. Mr Ca Cameron has to come to Calais. He's very welcome to see what the reality is. Okay, we hope he will come. Philippe Mignonet, thanks very much indeed.